So here we go. First quarter with Essendon winning the toss. They have elected to kick to the left, kicking with the breeze on this dry gabber ground. Ashcroft got a touch, but that was all. It comes out wide and a chance for Denham to send Essendon into the half forward line. His kick's going to drop short and the mark taken by Johnny Gastev. Yes, Gastev with a very big task today on Darren Buick. Buick, one of the match winners for the Bombers. Playing his 134th game, Johnny Gastev goes uh, across the ground a champion who has a bit of time, has a bit of a look, gives it back to Gastev. Another one wider to Leslie, and they're out of trouble. Away go the Bears. Andrew Buick, the veteran. Oh, he put his teammate under pressure there. He may lose it. Buick hasn't been accurate for goal early on this season, but he wobbles one goalwards, and he's sadly off target once again as it goes out of bounds in the right forward pocket. In fact, this year, uncharacteristically, he's kicked eight goals, 20. Well, he's known as a real goal sneak, normally very accurate, but as Sandy said, a very poor uh, goal percentage this year. Oh, Clark, he's been in good form, Matthew Clark. The big ruckman have been a real fine for Brisbane as he brings it towards centre wing. And the mark is taken by Fletcher, former St Kilda and Geelong player, of course. Lambert's been in fine form. On to Darrell White, who seems to have found his niche in defence. Towards the half-foot line, good play by Ridley to get it towards Hardwick. Hardwick was grabbed. Here's Paul Pios. Oh, oh he probably should have kicked it. McIver back in the direction of Pios. Still Pios with the ball as he handballs back. Fletcher around the corner to the half forward line. Ridley went without it. Here's Anthony Danaher back in the Essendon side. Getting it across to Joe Massetti. Good teamwork by the Bombers as they bring it out of defence towards centre wing. And the mark has been taken by Scott. Yes, the player he was looking for was Somerville, but good interception. Scott gets it across to Fletcher. He runs through the middle. Lopes towards half forward. Pushing it in towards the pocket. Pios is there once again. May run out of room. No, he keeps it in play. No one putting any pressure on. He has a shot at goal and he misses. One behind. Well, up the other end of the ground, Michael Simons has been picked up by Martin Leslie. Now, he's an interesting player, Simons, because he can take a mark, but he is also very quick to recover. So, without question, Robert Walls believes his marking ability is uh, paramount because Leslie will be left in his tracks if the ball hits the ground. Grenvold on half-back. Drifts it into the centre. Buick's his man. Darren Buick. Chris Danaher drifting down towards half-forward. Young is also there, and O'Donnell. Young looking for someone going past. Here go the Bombers now. Mercedes kicks up towards the 50-metre line. It's a good pass, and Simon is awarded the mark, even though it's a bit, that could just about be 50. That just indicates the leg speed of Simons. Very difficult to stop those marks, of course. But Leslie, I think, will be found out for pace here this afternoon. Michael Simons, this is his 32nd game. He's uh, kicked 20 goals for the season. 20 goals, 8, in fact. But a chance to score the first for the day. The Bears have one behind. Simons with that characteristic long run-up. Lumbers in and has kicked it behind. Away to the left. Michael Simons has been working over the summer with uh, an ex-teammate of mine, Sandy, David Whedon. Oh, right. And uh, that's why he's taking that long run-up because he was a pretty ordinary kick for goal last year. Now the kick just holding up slightly in the breeze. Matthew Clark flew. Well, he's a former basketballer, so you see he's pretty highly skilled, the big fella, Matthew Ooh. Clark. But as I say <laughs> that, you give them a oh, it always happens. happens. Well, I was talking about his leap, as a matter of fact. Not his kicking ability. You don't kick a basketball. There's the Bears bench as the kick comes down towards centre wing. And the mark has been taken for the Bears by the man they call Magic, Michael McLean, the former star Footscray player. The half forward, Merritt against his club, is shoved out of it. It's thumped the ground. Umpire calls play on. It's just shuffled across to Hardwick. Hardwick towards the centre of the ground. This is Chris Danaher breaking away and bringing it towards the pocket. Buick, two bites. So look at the pace of Buick to get away from Gastev. Great play by Buick. Hits a bounce. The little rover races in the goal and has missed. Another behind on the board to Darren Buick for the year. Yes, one you would have expected him to uh, convert. Another matchup on the Essendon forward line that's a little bit imbalanced for height is uh, Rat Buse picking up Tim Watson. Watson six foot two and he'd have three or four inches on Busey. Five and a half. Number of games just about between them. Quite extraordinary. Denham. Sending the Bombers inside 50 once again. Gastev stood his ground. Watson a snap. Down be close. Oh, he's kicked it, I think. First goal.
goal of the day going to the 304 game veteran Tim Watson and they lead by seven points and rode it beautifully took it off the back of the off the front of the pack and that's just you can't teach that that's called goal awareness Watson knew where they were used all his experience it came to the floor and put it through Good start for the Bombers, they lead by seven points. Slight breeze favouring the end that they're kicking to as Gary O'Donnell shuffles it out to Joe Masidi. Masidi off the side of the boot and McLean races after him and takes the mark. Very highly skilled player, Michael McLean. To the half forward line, Lambert's underneath it, knocked away towards Denham. He's bucked off the ball by Francis. Now here's Fletcher, racing in towards the half forward line. Pios, a good game last week against the Eagles. Ridley did well, it's shuffled out with a good hand pass to Wenganeen. Now under Hardwick, a promising young player, a lot of class. Oh, good mark and courage by Chris Danaher. And a report gone. on Richard Champ in Grinelba. Look at that. Well, Chris Danaher committed himself. He showed a lot of courage. Champion came in very hard. But the book is out. Danaher coming from that, of course, that famous family. Terry coached uh, the New South Wales combined side with the ACT to a loss against uh, the Queensland combined side. Yes, it was a big loss, in fact, for those people who are watching around the country. Uh, Queensland far too good as uh, 50 metres is being handed out here. So, Poor old TD's going to head back to Wagga with a tail between his legs, yes. but he's heading back to a wonderful city. He certainly is, and uh, the Wagga Tigers. He coaches Terry, that great player. Dearly loved at Essendon, of course. And just while we're waiting for Chris to line up and perhaps put this goal through, Ridley's picking up Pios. Merritt is being picked up by Anthony Danner. Danaher. Now Chris Danaher, he's drifted this one to the right and has missed. And of course they come from that great little town up there, the Danaher's Ungary. <laughs> I think it's Ungary, the pronunciation. And just to complete the forward line, Glenn Manton with a pretty big task on Alistair Lynch. And Calthorpe's picking up Francis, who has, is very dangerous if he gets the ball. Leslie heads to the outer side. Well, this is the weather with, uh, for good marking, and uh, this young man has started off extremely well. Kicks towards centre wing. I just wonder how it's going to affect Essendon come the second half, as Fletcher on the defensive side of centre. Heads towards half forward, towards Alistair Lynch. His birthday today, but he was unable to take the mark on that occasion. And again, it's the Essendon defence tidying up. Ridley puts it out in front, and they're away. Back towards the centre wing. Young could be first to it. He is. Somerville is there with him. Young eludes one, two, goes off to O'Donnell. Back towards Young again. Ashcroft persists, but he gets clear of him eventually. Forced onto the left foot, he pulls it back in towards the 50 metre line. James Hurd was there but couldn't take it. Here's the dangerous Buick. Pulling it back towards Simon Ooh. and he ran into trouble. And has given away the free kick, the advantage is paid, so it's picked up by Leslie and he comes and finds Hamilton on the half back line. Foot stress fractures kept this young man out of the game for almost two years. Shane Hamilton played in the grand final side in Geelong. Good to see him back and doing well. In great form in recent weeks, Shane Hamilton. Now the ball's on centre wing. Clark versus Somerville. Oh, Somerville with the left hand, hooked it over the back. Here's Fletcher, caught, gets in a hand pass, back towards the boundary line, right in front of our commentary box for a throw-in. And across midfield, Chris Scott's picking up Shea Cockatoo Collins. Fletcher and Masidi are going together, and Hamilton and Hardwick are on the other wing. Somerville did that well to Wanganeen. Wanganeen a low trajectory kick. He's looking in the direction. Oh, that is a brilliant mark by Hurd. He is a class player. Mm, under enormous pressure. Not Jared. sure he shouldn't have had the hands out in front of him, though, Perth. Oh, it was still a great mark. In the what Simons, who marks. And uh, Michael Simons. He well, gets you mentioned too quick, the, doesn't he? You mentioned the pace or lack of pace by Martin Leslie. It's shown out again, then. It is very difficult to stop those leads, as uh, you would have found out as a full forward, Pete. However, well, probably better off with a quicker... Yeah, what, quicker Cowboy Neil back. and West Off caught me a few times. Ray Biffin. That's why I'm so silly now, Jared. <laughs> well, we won't argue with that. 
Well, we see Michael Simon kicking 40, 45 degree angle. He stabs. It starts to swing. I think he was knock this one in by goal. Yes. So the Bombers, a good start to this game. They've kicked two goals. Michael Simon's one, Tim Watson one, and they lead by 14 points. And they will be looking for an early blitz, the Bombers. And this is the way to start. A terrific kick into the forward line. That's the way you want to get them as a full forward. Out in front, he took, takes the mark. He teamed, seemed to just poke at that ball, but it had enough work on it to swing back and go through the large sticks. Bombers lead by 14 points. McIver and Somerville jostling in the middle. Somerville goes to ground and the ball spills free. Hurried kick by O'Donnell. Goes down towards Young on half forward. He's got the player going past and cover to Collins. Clever kick towards Denner. Oh. Clean bowls it. Ashcroft should tidy up. Across to McLean. He's on half back but does have plenty of support. As the hand pass comes wide. Scott kicks towards a centre wing. And the Bears have it in that position. Into the middle and McAdam. This is Gilbert McAdam. McIver. Well, he's off. Now he gets around. And he's 70 metres out. He goes with a long, big drop puck. And a leap yeah. to the back. An excellent forward move there by the Bears because Merritt and Lynch crisscrossed. Merritt went forward on the big lead, which opened up plenty of space for Alistair Lynch to run backwards into. In the end, he did it pretty well under some good pressure there from Glenn Manton, who appealed for the free kick. I think the umpire was correct in awarding it to AFL superstar up here in Queensland. 26 today, Alistair Lynch. In his 129th game. And Lynchy, happy birthday. His first, and the Bears are on the board. And Scott McIver almost balked himself back into trouble. You see, well, you won't see the uh, start of the goal, but there was a pretty good shot of the mark. Perhaps would have got paid the free kick himself if it had a spill, despite Glenn Manton's remonstrations. Fine passage of play. A very, very good crowd here at the Gabba, and they're making a lot of noise for the Bears. Clark versus Somerville. The ball hits the deck now. Free kick in this ruck contest. It's going to Clark, who's a very promising young player. Matthew Clark brings it out towards Gilbert McAdam. McAdam versus Wanganeen. Oh, clever play by Wanganeen. That was excellent play. Young receives from Joe Mercedes. This is Barry Young, the former Richmond player. Now, that's good play to centre it towards the half-forward line. Buick, can't mark. Over the back is Leslie. Simons. Gets it back to the dangerous Buick. Now Gary O'Donnell on his left foot. Oh, poor kick. He's kicked it into Hamilton. Well trapped by Hurd. Taken by Gastiv. Cleverly done by White. He gets it across to Hamilton. On to McAdam. And Gilbert McAdam to the half forward line. Matt. Still in play. Here's David Kelthorpe. Calfor back to Grenbold. Too slow to get rid of it. Fabian Francis was there. Now Fletcher. And the umpire's found a tackle too high here. And the recipient will be Joe Mercedes. Takes it from half back. Kicks towards the centre wing. Towards Alessio and Watson. Watson is almost clear. Picks it up beautifully. Gets onto the left foot. Down towards half forward. Spills free at the back. Here it comes. Bursting through. Pushing to Watson in the pocket. Buick has fired it up as well. Tight angle and a fine smother by Gaston. Sees it over the line. Good football. So Buick busy early. And as uh, Pete said, an excellent crowd in attendance. And, uh, a large number of bomber supporters too have made the trek. Alessio in front, champion at the back, shrugs one tackle, goes with an underground hand pass that's effective for Buick, runs into trouble, he gets the hand pass away however, kicked up towards uh, Fletcher at the back, he takes a good mark, got the ride on uh, Grenvold and did it well, gets it across to Lambert, he floats a kick out towards the half forward, Lynch and Cockatoo Collins, 
The latter soccer's off the ground towards the boundary line. Cockatoo Collins leads in the race for the ball. May run into trouble. He does. And it's uh, out of bounds. And out of side. And a free kick. The Duckman's going to go the way of the Bears. He got caught. He got peak. In towards Pion. Inside kick. He's been in good form, Paul Pios. He's kicked 18 goals for the year. Yes, he did very well against the West Coast Eagles last week. Perhaps missed a goal that uh, could have been converted in the last quarter. But gave them a focal point. Was very strong in the air and generally kicked well at goal. This wouldn't be beyond him. Just to draw within two points be an excellent kick if he can do it. Got to be very close. Just going across the face and touched from behind. As it goes into the post. He can smile. Put a point on the board. Hardwick couldn't take it. Merritt runs into O'Donnell. Eventually flicked out in a Almost a tentative little kick by Ashcroft. It's effective though. Francis wobbles one in towards a half forward. Bomber defence being tested. Mercedes gets it away. Oh, but only as far as uh, Chris Scott. Scott pops it long. Lynch is there again. And well done to Marcus Ashcroft. He was the one that applied the tackle, which saw Aaron Kick go forward. And Chris Scott, a likeable rogue, I'm told, here in Brisbane. A boy still doing his VCE year, pumped it long and Lynch running back towards the goals once again takes a mark. This to draw within one point and he should have no trouble at all. Point blank range almost directly in front but he's taking plenty of time. This for his second. And he makes no mistake. The Bears draw closer. <laughs> well done, Alistair Lynch. Two first quarter goals, both in similar fashion, running forward. Obviously, the Bears have been primed to kick the ball long, and Lynch will be running towards a vacant square, left open by a leading Roger Merritt. So their forward structure working quite well at the minute. Well, the Bombers now by only one point. Alistair Lynch has kicked two and is looking a distinctive danger to the Bombers. Here's Alessio versus Clark. No decisive hit out. Alessio butters up and brings it down towards Hurd. Oh, good pick up by Hurd. Back to Denham. Denham brings it on the right foot down to the forward line. Simons flies from in front. Oh, good mark, Michael Simons. He's looking good. Playing well. He's already kicked one. Yes, he's a multi-skilled player, both on the deck and in the air. And therefore, he's very, very difficult to match up with. So Unfortunately for the Bears, Matthew Kennedy is out injured. He's the sort of player that you could possibly go there. Because he's got the height and he's also got the pace at ground level. Well, Simons from directly in front. That long run up, he stabs a goal, clears the pack. And a goal to the Bombers. The foot forward, Michael Simons, has kicked two in a terrific start, but it's a good game here at the Gabba, as we see the sign for the Sean Denham fan club. 3-3 three, three to 2-2. Two, two. So seven points the margin in favour of the Bombers. And as we have a look at this goal, it's worth noting that Somerville's gone to the bench with Alessio going into the ruck. And I think that's a good move from Kevin Sheedy because you try to perhaps just conserve the energy of the big fellows so they can come with a flurry perhaps at the end of the game. So back in the centre, Alessio, oh, he wins that to Denham, that was good play, great ruck play, Gary O'Donnell, a daisy cutting pass, they might, might have to make a move here, that was a good lead by Simons again, kicking for his third, now they've got Richard Champion there, I yes, wonder if they've made the made move, move Jared. Well with Somerville going off, he was picking up Alessio at the uh, opening bounce, and perhaps his extra pace has given Robert Walls something to think about perhaps Scott McIver will be the next option coming off the half forward line and here's that long run up again he stabs it low Michael Simons and he has missed this one to the right I think his idea is good to kick it low 
but it just didn't seem to follow through hard enough no, on that's that kick. Twice he's poked at it. So 22 plays 14, the Bombers in front. Brought back into play once again, and a chance for them to clear through McIver, who takes the hand pass up towards centre wing. Francis, can he get clear of Kalkor? Yes, he can. Swinging wide on the wing, goes up towards the 50 metre line. Lynch caught behind on this occasion, and the mark taken by Manton. On half back, goes back towards Alessio, who's in the pack. Unable to complete the mark. Denham applies the quick tackle. Scott, however, kicks clear for the Bears. Up towards half forward once again. Lynch couldn't take the mark. Wanganin to tidy up. Subtle little kick down towards the outer wing. And a cool bounce for the Bears, but a good one for Cockatoo Collins. In towards Hurd, who marks just inside 50. Plays on James Hurd. Very tight angle. So sensibly, he centres it towards Simonson Buick, and the latter takes the mark. Good kick from Hurd. Uh -huh. Great play by Hurd, Jared. Talented player, Peter. I know he's one of your favourites. Darrell White has perhaps kept him a little bit quiet in this opening passage, but uh, it's early days, and that was a talented and professional kick to the high-scoring high area of the ground. So Buick, for his first, he's had a couple of shots without success, but he has broken the ice. So the Bombers get their fourth. Well, Robert Wall certainly has thrown his back line around. Buse is now picking up Delaney. He has started on Watson. Leslie's now moved on to Watson. Champion is now on Alessio. Simons. Sorry, Champion now on Simons. And Delaney's come onto the ground. It's being picked up by Buse, as we said. Well, it looks like we're in for a very, very good game. And I think that's Robert Wall's there. So 4-4 to 2-2. Here's Ashcroft who's been in fine form under Chris Scott, the promising youngster. Out wide, the race is on for this ball. Damien Hardwick will get there for her. He's got a lot of class this play. Look at that weave. And he centers that ball to Alessio. Good play by young Hardwick. Now Alessio gives it off to Kelthorp. Kelthorp brings it to the pocket. Simon's at the back. Can't mark. Buick, Buick, Buick. the dangerous Buick. Nearly went with it. And to come in and save the day for the Brisbane Bears with Johnny Gastev. Thrown in the left forward pocket for Essendon. They're starting the day at 11 to 8 on. And the Bears are 10 to 9 on. Not a lot in it. Clark coming over the top. Gastev waiting down. Watson tries to halt proceedings. And he does so nicely to allow a path for Delaney. His hand pass over goes astray. Ashcroft intercepts. And the ball finishes over the line with Hamilton for a throw in. Bears hoping to break the ice today. Ten times they've met. Ten times the Bombers have won. Alessio could have almost been taken high. The big man plays off. Can't get it clear. O'Donnell can. For Delaney. He runs into trouble in the form of Leslie. And he gets pinged. He loses it. Hughes should get the Bears out of trouble. Head pass away to Lambert off to McLean. And Brisbane are away. Oh. Or are they? Well, that hand pass put his teammate under extreme pressure. Heard may make him pay. James Heard does make him pay. And a great passage of defensive play by the Bomber forward line. They were unlucky not to get a free kick on a prior tackle, but well done to James Heard. Piers McLean, who had an absolute horror last week against the West Coast. His disposals uh, were very ordinary, and that's the free kick, I thought. It was incorrect disposal. Well done to James Hurd, who butted up and kicked another goal for the Bombers. Well, a ha poor hand pass has helped Essen to a 20-point lead here. They're doing pretty well. Hard oh! Oh, free kick to Hart, which was copped high by Lambert across the neck. There was no doubt about that. Good play by Hardwick to get back quickly and have a look downfield to see if his forwards are leading. And he can see one. Here's Simons again. No mark. Flies over the back of McLean. Delaney shuffles it out towards the boundary line. But uh, Simons moving particularly well up on that forward line. He's kicked two and has had a few shots for goal. Richard Champion's been in fine form. Looked like a bit of wire, Simons. Very talented and dangerous up in that forward line. Ashcroft shrugs the tackle. Keeps a left footer in as he goes up to the oh. half back line. But Calthorpe says, I'll do it just with the one hand. Gives it off to O'Donnell. Pumps it long. In towards half forward. Thank and uh, Buick, I thought he was on a step, mate. 
telling the umpire all about it. Gastev will take the free kick. Short to Ashburn. Very good golfer at this point. Centre wing and Fletcher. Wants to give the hand pass away. Well, he eventually does take the kick after running his full distance. Up towards uh, Lynch territory at half forward. Manton comes over the top to affect the spoil. Hardwick lumbers after it. Gives it to his teammate Langanin who got one after he got rid of the football. The advantage will be paid on to Calthorpe. Now Denham. Essendon away. Denham's kick towards half forward. Over oh, that top of him. But that's been right in the As this boy got town. Well, he smashed one towards Lambert. But Simon's in oh. there. Who have almost been given a free kick for holding, but no. Play goes on. Young takes the hand pass. From 50 metres out, he goes forwards. One behind. Second poster for the day. Well, it's a terrible passage of play by the Bears. The short kick to Craig Lambert, who's being tracked by Sean Denham, was not on and really did set them up to uh, be scored against. Darrell White. Uh, precision kick that one and has found Gastev been a good honest battler Johnny Gastev for the Bears He's coming from the Eagles a number of years ago here's Darrell White again he loves to kick it short he's found Adrian Fletcher now Fletcher has lobbed it up high but it's a safe kick for Scott Marks on centre wing now Scott moving it quickly to the half forward line and not being able to control that before it rolled over the line was Scott McIver yeah, Scott McIver is changing with Adrian Fletcher as Ruck Rovers. So the ball on centre wing. Alessio at the back. Very, very mobile. Masidi gets it to Wanganeen. On to Hardwick, who's a very promising young player. Here's the running Kelpor. Oh, that could be holding the ball. Yes, good umpiring because he ducked the head. He was caught red hot. And the free kick will go to the Bears. Martin Leslie. In towards the 50 metre line. Poor kick over. Wanganeen having a good first quarter. He's having a pretty good season. And Watson, defensive side of centre wing. Now heads in towards the middle. And a good mark too, taken by Delaney. Under a bit of pressure from Buse. Wobbles a punt. Jared drops his head in shame. <laughs> Out towards a Ridley and Hurd. There's pressure on them now. Scott leads in the race for the ball. He's close to the boundary line. Hurd sees him over. Very good crowd here on this spring-like afternoon here in Brisbane. And a big afternoon of football on seven. Wherever you may be viewing around the country, just check your local guides because there's uh, plenty more to come. Marcus Ashcroft picks himself up. Jay Cockatoo Collins. Darrell White. Essendon in attack on their right half forward line. Clark goes up. Maybe a little early. Masidi gets it high, but there's been a whistle. Throw. And it was a throw to Joe. So the Bears to alleviate some of the pressure. But it's been Essendon's quarter so far. 5-5 five, five to 2-2. Two, two. They've looked extremely good. Scott's kick wasn't too good then. Fletcher may get him out of trouble. Former cat. Kicks up over centre. Big pack of players. Kyber waits down. So too does Denham. And it's the latter who picks it up for Essendon. Kicks back towards centre wing. Scott and Cockatoo Collins charge towards the ball. Only to see it dripped over the line. Right on centre wing. The bomber bench. You can see Peter Somerville in the middle there. He'll be doing plenty of ruck work. I'd imagine changing with Alessio, as Jared said. Now... Scott. Now that should be a free kick to Chris Scott, and it is at half back. This promising youngster. I've already sung his praises many times this year for a young kid, though, in the under 18 competition to walk into a senior side and do so well. It's a great effort. Alistair Lynch, probably the danger player as far as Essendon is concerned. Up towards Merritt, it's thumped away. Here's a chance. Shane Hamilton on the left foot, in towards goal. Pios back with a fly oh. off fumble. Up the ground, Pios for a goal. So Paul Pios recovered to kick his first and a very handy one that was right on siren time. Well you wouldn't want to have a, a failing ticker with uh, Paul Pios <laughs> going for that. I had a look up at the Brisbane Bears box 
and there was heads in hands because they thought he'd fumbled it, but well done to Pios, who collected his thoughts under pressure and did soccer through a pretty exciting goal. You're going to be pleased when the siren sounds, and it does now. So quarter time here at the Gabba. After an interesting first term, Essendon leading on the scoreboard, but kicking with a slight breeze, and in warm conditions, anything could happen. At quarter time, it's the Bombers 5-5, 35, Brisbane at 3-2, 20. So set to go in the second quarter here at the Gabba. Alessio and Clark. The former wins it, but it's Lambert trying to take it out of the middle. He does get pinged and he's lost it. Oh, maybe a bit tough. Something well, he's back on the ground. He's in the full, full forward line. It's being picked up by Martin Leslie. O'Donnell kicks towards the 50 metre line. Fisted away from James Hurd, but he's going to be the first to pick it up down to Buick. Clever kick towards Cockatoo Collins, but well done by Scott to try and foil it. Bit of fancy work from Watson as the ball goes towards Hurd. Was it a hand pass? Was it a throw? Doesn't matter. Centering kick from Hurd goes in towards centre half forward. Masidi may have a shot here. Bends back a left footer. This could be a great start for Eston. Was it touched on the line? Touched on the line and one behind. Yes, and Shane Hamilton having trouble, I think, with the sun when he went for that chest mark. Could have proved costly, however. Richard Champion, long kick, a good kick to Darrell White, beautiful kick, and that's much better to see that sort of kick than those uh, 15 metre ones, to set a wing, here's Alistair Lynch, oh smothered off the kick of uh, Chris Scott, that was good play by men, and the umpire found the free kick right in the man decision, it will go the way of the Bombers to Peter Summerhall, that's always the danger when you give a two yard handball, with a player running directly at the man chasing the bloke with the ball. So Peter Summer were wearing the number 19, which his great dad wore for many, many years. For the Bombers with distinction, he's very young. Knocked on to Denham from Watson. He's heard on the right foot, James Heard wings it in towards goal, but Richard Champion there to save the day again. Yeah, he's right on the last line of defence. Just holding up in the breeze that end, isn't it? Ashcroft. Back. Comes out towards Clark, couldn't take it, Somerville a chance now for Essendon, towards Alessio, he runs into Buse, also in trouble was Masiti, ball at the bottom and a bounce will take place. Buse at the bottom, Marcus Ashcroft. An important time for both clubs this game at the moment because of Essendon and hurry up maybe two or three quick ones and give them a bit of breathing space which is what they're going to require at half time and on the other hand the Bears have the opportunity to peg back the advantage that Essendon holds at the moment Alessio going to be free kick <laughs> too far out to score Try and centre it towards uh, Somerville, who's in the pack. Clark marks in front of a lesson. What's he got on offer? Has a look up over the centre. Comes towards Lynch and uh, Manton. Just uh, hanging on. Yeah, it's good body position by Alistair Lynch. I'm not sure the free kick was there, though. And Lynch plays on quickly. Watch Merrick. And he was being held without doubt. He almost dragged his opponent along the ground. And Roger Merritt will have his first shot at goal today. He's kicked 17 9 for the season. Well, I actually think he's got a perfect kicking style, Roger Merritt, Sandy. Having said that. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> 
but he has. Well, let's see what he can do. Kicking from 45 metres. Very important that they get a good start in this quarter. And lovely kick for him. Well, what to run us through this perfect kicking style, Pete? Well, you'll see he gets he gets his head, Jared, as you know, right over the wall. Here's Alistair Lynch bringing it down. And Merritt, the free kick was uh, just before that. Merritt, look at this. For any young player watching, his head right over the ball, watches it under the boot, and kicks right through it. So 5-6 to 4-2, two. we're seeing a pretty good game here, an even game as Wanganeen gets it out. Here's Kelthorpe. Kelthorpe to the half-forward line. Hurd sets himself in. Oh, oh there's a big mark over the back, Darrell White. He's got enormous ability. He really is a talented player. Under Lambert, the former Richmond Ruck Rover. Good mark to Richard Champion coming down from full back. Now he's way out on centre wing, Champion. Long kick to the half forward line. Lynch was the flyer. Ashcroft is there also, but it rolls over the line. Well, halfway between centre wing and half forward for the Bears. From the throw in. It's the Bombers who take it away in the form of Hardwick in towards the centre. Young has given away a free kick. He was uh, holding on to McLean. He'll take it from centre. Up towards half forward, towards Merritt, who got buffeted out. At the back is Pios. No one going past. Got to try and do it on his own. Gives a little bit of ground. Pushed back in towards the centre, towards McIver. With him also is a Grenbold. Oh, strong work by Merritt at the bottom of the pack to try and get it out. Danaher is in there. The Bombers having the numbers at the back. And it's kicked towards Cockatoo Collins, who will Ooh. just keep it in play. He thought about <laughs> rushing in deliberately. He thought about walking over the line with it, didn't he? Oh dear, but very subtle work. <laughs> and a few people in Melbourne would realise that uh, Shea Cockatoo Collins originates from Cairns. We know he played with Port Adelaide and uh, people believe he's South Australian, but I am told that he is a Queenslander. Shea Cockatoo Collins, here he is now. Oh! Right into the ground. Oh! Oh! How did he get rid of that, Derek? Well, with great difficulty as we see Glenn Manton coming off the ground with is perhaps Whoa. a back or rib injury and I wouldn't be surprised if it happened when Roger Merritt uh, smashed into the pack on the other side of the ground a minute ago Wanganeen gives it to Grenbold and Chris Scott has done a hamstring right in front of us here well, that's bad luck for the Bears and uh, for the Bombers if uh, Manton's in real trouble uh, Mercedes kick is short but it's effective the Bombers at the moment leading by 10 points but not a lot in it. Hardwick's kick is a little wide towards a Buick. Getting plenty of attention from Johnny Gastev. It goes out on the other side. Well, Scott is still grabbing his hamstring. He's moving around. The trainers have indicated, I think, that he has to come off. But uh, the runners for the Brisbane Bears are still trying to orchestrate this change. Well, here's Lambert receiving from Clark. With a half forward line, Gilbert McCann. Oh, Wanganeen. Magnificent play as he comes through the pack. Under Joe Masidi. An ordinary kick for the half forward line. But it eventually comes off to Denham. Here's Andrew Buse who loses the ball in the tackle. That's Michael Simons there at half forward. Bring it in towards the full forward line. Actually, it was her that got it down towards the direction of Simons. The two lookalikes are socket off the ground. Way out towards the half forward line. And over. Well, it's a, warming up. Yeah, big body blow for the Bears because Chris Scott, despite his, his very tender age, has been one of their real goers this year. Somerville tries to flick it over the back. Leslie looks to get a hurried high kick. Doesn't have a lot of distance in it. Mercedes takes the mark. So on right half forward, wants to get on with it quickly, can centre it, goes into the middle, finds Hardwick. Oh, no. oh. He was looking to go off Hardwick. Perhaps he shouldn't have slung him as much as he did, McAdam, but he was definitely at one eye to play on. Is That's that a worth, goal. It's going to be a goal. Is it worth 50, Jared? that honestly? Well, I think my thoughts are, uh, have been publicised. I think well, it was a shocking rule, but There was anyway. one yesterday at Carlton, too, against Nicky Winmar. Very similar type, well, not similar to that, but a ticky touch of one. Not worth 50. Particularly when there's a fair bit of doubt about it. So the shot for goal from Hardwick. 
and he makes no mistake. And the Bombers get their sixth. Yes, well you're caught between the devil and the deep blue sea as a player. What do you do? Do you let him just move on? Or do you tackle him and perhaps incur the wrath of the umpire? Now who's their 50 in this one, Pete? He's no, took he's a couple just... of side steps and there oh, he goes. Not 50 at all. <laughs> and Essendon had five players in the square. Shea Cockersu Collins making a desperate bid to get out, but uh, the umpires nabbed him. So Clark takes the kick up towards half forward, towards Merritt and McIver. The ladder's in trouble. He gets the hand pass away. It goes straight to Danner. And his kick is wide and out of bounds. Right half full, in front of uh, the new social complex here at the Gabba. Lambert, it's a high kick, difficult one to grab. Lynch is there at the back, so too is Watson. Shrugs the tackle and two Watsons away. To the outer side he goes with a long clearing kick. Who's got the recovery? It's O'Donnell, first up, getting it away to Masidi. He drifts it into the middle, it bounces off the chest of Delaney, but he keeps on going and he's got Cockatoo Collins to lend support. His kick is wide, up towards the half-forward line. James Hurd takes the mark. Calthorp drifts down to make position. Buick comes on a lead, but he elects to go even longer, up towards half-forward. Oh. And it's going to be a ball going the way up the bit. Yeah, some good touch, courage there from Fletcher, who knew he was going to be poleaxed, but he kept his eye on the ball. Comes it across to Gastev, he goes short to Lappin. And Watson That's... has moved on to Alistair Lynch, with Manton going off the ground. Yes, and Lappin just on the ground, he's a very talented youngster too. Wanganeen's having a very good day. Short he finds Hurd. James Hurd way out at half forward. Now he's chipping it across. He sees a lead that was Chris Danaher. He did well to get a hand to that. Versus Shane Hamilton. Well done by Chris Danaher. Gary O'Donnell goes in to lend a hand. Here's McAdam. All runs into Denham. Now it's a loose ball. Fabian Francis. A long kick. That's the way to play it. Ridley at the back. Disciplined play by Ridley. Did not go for the mark and attempt to punch it. Masidi is there. All players going in very hard. Fletcher playing for the free kick. Umpire having none of that. Fabian Francis grabs his Essendon opponent, Masidi. Here's Lambert. He gets it by. Shane Hamilton, a bounce with the left hand. Races in the goal, Hamilton, and he puts it right through the middle. Now, Hamilton has kicked his first, and that was excellent team play by the Bears. And now the margin, 10 points in favour of the Bombers. Bill, they kept it alive, didn't they? Fletcher at the bottom of the pack rather than dragging the ball in. Flipped it out to a couple of voices. Fabian Francis on that occasion did the flip out. Lambert got a nice handball. Not sure why the bounce came in the first step. However, he settled Hamilton and did well to convert. Ten points the margin. As we go back to the middle once again. Bears tried to get out of the centre, could have been a free kick to Francis for holding, but Clown was the callers, Ashcroft kicks it long, up towards half forward, Ridley again, disciplined in defence, punches down, Mackayo runs into trouble, the ball spills free, Clown was the call, Denham a chance now, he too has got a few problems there, Hardwick also, and it's eventually over the line. Buick has been moved up onto the ball for the Bombers. Very good crowd in attendance now here at the Gabba. From the throw in, a chance for Francis as he goes dashing into the pocket. Buick hot on his heels. And speaking of crowds, Sandy, I'm told that all reserve seating is already sold for the Collingwood game next week. So there'll be a bumper crowd here again. That's not surprising, but that's uh, grand news, isn't it? And, uh, the Bears obviously make an impact. Merritt in trouble, gets the hand pass away. Lambert's kick, what's this going to be like? Oh! What a goal! Yes, and Craig Lambert is starting to exert some influence on this game. I thought he was uh, a little bit quiet in the first quarter. Denham had a check on him, but he's been involved in the last two goals. This one he kicks himself. The last one he handballed out to Hamilton. And his possession rate uh, has certainly lifted in this second quarter. The 
good signs for the Bears. They only trail by four points, but in this last five minutes, they've looked pretty good. That was Scott McIver getting a quick kick to it. Here's Chris Danaher, caught, loses it. Buick looking for Steve Alessio, very mobile, was caught high, and good umpiring to spot that one. It was definitely across the neck. And the hoops of the Bears supporters. Steve Alessio. He's kicking it wide here. That's a good low trajectory kick. That is a great kick and a good lead by Simons. But I'm more wrapped in the kick. It was a terrific kick. And you can't beat that. The full back, really, unless he scrags the jumper and with three umpires in place, that uh, has become even more difficult. It's very, very difficult to stop if you can pinpoint a pass. And the player's got the ability to take the ball out in front as you see the player on screen do. That's the way to take a mark on the lead. And that's the way you should kick to your forwards too. And Simon's going back with that long run in again. He's going for his third goal into the slight breeze. Oh, this is close. And it is one behind only. So the Bears supporters breathe the side relief. A terrific atmosphere here, Sandy. Pete, I can tell you the gates were closed at 2 o'clock. Orders uh, of the local constabulary and people were actually turned away. Well, as I said, a great atmosphere and the people getting behind the Bears up here. Which is uh, great to see. O'Donnell gives a little ground, trying to make even more, but uh, it's Hamilton who oh. sees it over the line. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't deliberate. Well, not show. paid anyway. No. Less than a kick in it. Hardwick. A floater. Simons the fly. No mark taken. Pressure once again on the Bears' defence. Third on his way through and a quiet ball against Sean Dennis. Oh, a bit lucky, Sean. So, Buick gets a hurried kick towards the half forward line. It passes Hurd. Champion twist and turn. He had McCadden there. Elects to go even longer. White gets the hand pass away. The Bears are out of trouble as Ashcroft pumps it up towards Pelos, who marks just inside 50. Well, Lynch drops back in the square. Well, he'll kick the distance from there, Pelos. Well, that is just beautiful play there by the Bears and something that we haven't really been accustomed to seeing. Over the years they've been taunted and laughed at, but if they can reproduce that sort of form, coming through defence with a couple of good handballs, and then a magnificent kick to position, very difficult, very difficult to stop. Pios kicked one in the first quarter from 55 metres. Going to be close. Whoa! No, oh, no, he's oh, he's oh, he pointed the wrong way, didn't yeah. he, at first? Well, this fellow is going to be the biggest name ever in Queensland football history. He already probably is, but uh, I believe there's a couple of companies are going to sponsor him, in particular Coca-Cola, and you're going to see his face all around the country. Lynch, the number three. He makes no mistake on his birthday. Ball is out of the ground, Sandy. The Bears won't mind, they lead by a point. 7 2 plays 6 7. And that's what AFL football needs in Queensland. They need an icon, a person that the crowd and the kids can aspire to become. And Alistair Lynch is uh, certainly coming to the party. And it appears as if. Che Cockatoo Collins is off the ground. <laughs> You've hesitated on that one. I'll get it right. Che. Che Cockatoo Collins. Now, Somerville against Clark. Clark won that one. Here's McIver. Finally the kick. Comes from Hamilton. Down towards Lynch again. They've got a problem matching him up. Here's Ridley. Timmy Watson. Wangaline's been a good player. Kicks it wide now. Here's Darren Buick. Look at McAdams after him. Buick, that is a clever kick to Delaney. Two bites of the cherry, but he's taken it in half back. So, Tony Delaney. 
rings it towards the centre wing area. Oh, gee, oh. strong overhead, Heard, and up he goes. A very good player, Heard. One on one, here comes Simon. Simons versus Champion. Almost a free kick to Champion, but Simons butters up. Good play, but Hamilton comes in to save the day as he kicks it out towards centre wing. The race is on. Damien Hardwick. Fletcher's not known for his pace, but he's going to get there first against two bombers. And not a real, really good effort by the Essendon players then. Lynch is marked at half forward. The leads are on. Here's Pios. Races out and hits him on the chest. That is great play by the Bears. Yes, Gavin Wanganin lunged desperately but couldn't uh, get his hand on the ball and Pios is also becoming a bit of a problem for the Bombers. But in reality, I guess it's the way the ball's coming down. The pinpoint passes have been quite superb. There's another one. Pios lucky to have his head it's still well, on his that's, shoulders. That's the sort of pass that uh, Dunstall expects at Hawthorne. Beautiful kicking, but I thought there was a pretty ordinary effort by the Essendon players out there at centre wing. Now, Pios didn't quite make the distance from a similar position. I'm back in this time for it. He kicks it very high and long across the face slightly. I think he's missed. Well, a bit of a dust-up. Nothing too serious. And a behind to Brisbane. Yes, he's... Yes, Hardwick came coming off the ground. He's been replaced by Kilpatrick. So Anthony Danaher to bring the ball back into play. A good matchup, Danaher and Merritt. It's thumped on. Here's McAdam. He dives oh. on it and now uh, pushes the back against Gilbert McAdam by Darren Burek, and he knew it. He did. And Kelthorpe has also been moved on to Lambert, who, as we said, really has uh, opened up this game with his intelligent midfield play. So Gilbert McAdam brings it to the pocket. Here's Pios. Oh, good mark. Oh, great mark by Pios in between two bombers. And he will kick from the 50-metre line on a 45-degree angle. And he is starting to play very well. And Wind will be right behind him on this kick. You'll see him just come in. Danaher does his best to spoil it. Pios has got it in the big mitts. So Paul Pios, a chance to put the Bears in front. From the 50 metre line is normally a very good kick. It's a high kick. It is close. It's a beautiful looking kick. It's a goal. So Paul Pios has kicked his second. The Bears in front by eight points. Well, he's had three goes from the 50 metre line in the last five minutes. And finally he converts, there's Gilbert McAdam bringing the ball down forward. He's been a little bit subdued, McAdam, with plenty left to spare for the second half. So the Bears enjoying the biggest lead they've had in this game to date. Critical time now for the Bombers as Denham has it across half forward. They need the quick reply. Bang, running into trouble was Kilpatrick. Off it comes to O'Donnell. He should be able to score here. 35 metres out but pushed into a tight angle. Oh, he pulls it back and scores it behind. Captain Wanganin has come into the centre of the ground for the Bombers. But you saw a magnificent tackle there in the middle of the ground. And it's great to see players tackling with their legs and their shoulders. Not the typical AFL tackle of arms and fingers. Tackling remains the most undeveloped skill in our game. Champion goes to the outer side. The mark was dropped, but uh, the boundary line is there. Denham can keep it in play. There's uh, White. He says, I probably should have held that for you, boys. But a throw in will eventually. Bears leading at the moment. Past Young. It goes almost back to the centre. Wanganeen has it. Chips it up towards the 50 metre line. Uh, Buick is at the back, but since he could get a shot, and this is where he's dangerous. Buick for goal! Well, he's been off target this year, hasn't he? That's the uh, terrific roving by Buick, but he normally would snap a lace, Jared. Yes, with the score line at 6 9, it's 15 scoring shots to only 11. Well, here's Martin Leslie. In the back pocket, Martin Leslie, one of the many players to have come from Port Adelaide to the AFL. Oh, how are the up 
umpire sees this, he's pulling play on as Lambert gets it to uh, Adrian Fletcher. Fletcher around the boundary line, well trapped by Lynch, that was excellent play. Hamilton, caught as he kicked it by Barry Young, it rolls towards the line, here's O'Donnell, helps it on his way. Half forward for the Bears. It's a tough one for a player when he is given a handball and he realises he's going to be tackled as soon as he grabs possession. You saw Hamilton just do a quick mongrel kick there. Perhaps even a punch forward would have sufficed. Mercedes finds Kilpatrick. He goes up towards the centre wing and he in turn finds Sean Denham. Thought about the player going past, but now goes back to kick towards the 50 metre line. Alessio is his man. The big man does well, but he runs out of support. Buse gives it to McLean. And Michael McLean goes back towards centre wing, but no one at home for the Bears. And an uncontested mark taken by Joe Masidi. To half forward he goes. Oh, some of them went up with a one hand. Couldn't hold it long enough, and they should get out of trouble. Buse runs it out. The bounce may favour the Bears here in McIver. Look out, because here comes the wing and in. Still the opportunity for Ashcroft towards Pios, and he takes the mark 45 out directly in. Well, for great big confidence, and Paul Pios is playing with plenty of that. Similarly last week, he was on the burst, good possessions, good disposal, and he was good enough to grab the ball out in front. Todd Ridley, absolutely no chance whatsoever. Pios going for number three. That's to make the margin 12 points is the way to the left well away to the left and just sneaking in from behind so seven points in it but it is not the sort of scoreline Essendon would like to see at half time Danner to bring it back into play you said earlier the bulk of the clan here today with Terry Danner coaching the New South Wales side that was yes. comprehensively beaten by Queensland. It looked as if Lynch had his arm dragged off the ball going for that mark and he's saying yep. that to the umpire. Particularly in front of the Bears Social Club, you reckon he'd get a post? <laughs> like the ones you used to get at Victoria it's Park. Not, not Collingwood yet though. <laughs> well, you know it's uh, sold out next week with Collingwood playing here. They love to come and see the best. As we see Masidi towards the half forward line. Oh, is that a free kick to Delaney? No. Darrell White laying the tackle. It's at half forward. But no doubt about the drawing power of the Magpies. As Alan McAllister will tell you. And you. Well, I think David Shaw would have a little bit to say about that because the figures may show that Essendon is the most uh, hang popular on, side. Hang on, wait till Collingwood have been for 12 months at the MCG, Jerry, to make a difference. As we see, coming away with the ball, Ashcroft has been in terrific form in recent weeks. Towards the half point line, Pios, a terrific target, gets in a hand pass. Umpire calling play on Grenville, did he take it? Piling the man. The umpire is deliberated there. Free kick to David Grenville. Taking it from half back. And kicking towards the wing on the outer side. Fletcher keeps it in play, goes back towards the 50 metre, Grenville trying to spoil from behind. He shrugs the tackle, David Grenville, and kicks into the middle. He wants Buick, but it drops short and McAdam takes the mark. Inside the last minute now, and it's McAdam. Oh, look at that pass, that is a beauty. McIver can have a shot here from 49 metres. No, he elects to centre it. He wants merit, but he hasn't got it. Danahook couldn't take it. Pierce is trying to he kicks his turn. He kicks yet another. For the Brisbane Bears. Three to Pios, three to Lynch, and the Bears lead 9 4 to the Bombers in trouble at 6 9. Well, Scott McIver got by himself, no one within Cooey, and it was a tough decision for him. He could have perhaps run in and gold himself, but he elected to go to the top of the square, the high percentage area. Thought Anthony Danner he did. Danaher did quite well, except perhaps not taking the mark cleanly. It's allowed Pios to go up. Back in the middle. Ashcroft through, but lost the football, and a free kick's been picked up. It's got to come back. It is going the way of the Bears. But they're going to have to be very quick if they're going to score. Lambert has it. Been pretty busy. Kicks towards the 50-metre line. Can Merritt take a mark? And no, he can't. 
And the siren sounds here at the Gabba Ground. It's half time but a most entertaining match with the home side having the honours at the moment and the edge. 9-4 to 6-9. In fact, uh, the Bombers were restricted to just one goal four in that second quarter. Bear in mind the Bears kicking with the aid of a very slight breeze. Half time. Bears 9-4. Bombers 6-9. Can the Bombers come back? They are very, very good at that. Somerville plucks it out of the air. They've got the breeze. He gives it to Hardwick. He'll look towards Simons, who comes charging out, then has to prop just for a moment. Champion, his immediate opposition, heads towards the boundary line. But Simons could be first there if he can keep it in play. He can. He hugs the boundary line. Alessio says, go! But he puts it straight out of bounds on the floor. Yeah, Tot Ridley has moved to centre-half back for the Bears. So three opponents all ready for Alastair Lynch. And once, once again we see Simons kicking, just letting him down somewhat. McLean to bring it back into play. Clark in the pack, couldn't take it. At the back is Johnny Gastev. He gives it away. And the kick by Leslie goes towards Lynch. He was manhandled illegally, and he will take the free kick. Fabian Francis was off, but it'll come back to Lynch. Forward of centre wing. Pops it in towards the hole. Merritt came charging out. And there's been a free kick. It's going to go against Hamilton. That was against Merritt. Well, to Hardwick. So he takes the kick up towards Alessio. And the big man marks just forward of centre. Alessio, very mobile for a big man. That's a good low trajectory kick, but there's no one there for the Bombers. He's heard working over time. O'Donnell to Wanganeen onto the left foot. Gavin Wanganeen fires in a goal. A good effort. Goal. Well, Gavin Wanganeen sparked, sparked the Bombers. Because that was an excellent goal on the left foot, Jared. Yes, it was. Gilbert McAdam actually indicated that he thought it hit the post, but perhaps he was trying to simply con the umpire. Good little give there from Gary O'Donnell and a smart goal from the Brownlow medalist. A bit difficult to see if it did at the woodwork. The Bombers are going to need a few more of those if they're to be competitive at the last minutes of this game. So back to the centre. I think we've got a real contest on our hands now. As Sandy said, the Bombers, well... All of last year and this year, they keep fighting it out to the final siren. Here's Gilbert McAdam. Buick is there. Now Masiti. Here's Hardwick. O'Donnell on the left foot. Brings it in towards goal. Oh, slightly to the left. And one behind Arnie. But a good start for the Bombers in this term. Michael McLean to do the kicking in for the Bears. And he's picking up Gavin Wanganeen in defence. So six points to the margin, but Essendon making a bit of a charge here. Here's Cocker to Collins. Oh, he centres this ball. Wink it in! Oh! Bring it, Mark! Oh, what a class player. Oh, good play to play on to. The umpire's going to bring him back. Time on has been blown. So this Brownlow medalist, this champion player, sparking the bombers here. We have a set shot. Well, you probably have to have the set shot. Otherwise, you'd have to run onto the left. There's a very acute angle. Wanganeen for his second goal in a minute. He's kicked it. Well, what a great start for the Bombers in this third term. Scores a level. And good to see Gavin Wanganeen just running straight and kicking the ball. Even though the angle is tight, I think it's a more a higher quality shot at goal than if you run around and put yourself under pressure. Has he got some talent, Pete? It's unbelievable, isn't it? Scores level, but it's the Bombers making all the running at the moment as Hardwick sets sail for Simons and he marks inside 50. Got to get out of the centre there from Somerville. Pushed away. Matthew Clark with the knee and took the ball out of him, out himself, handballed it off to Hardwick. And Simons once again. <laughs> look at this run up, it's as good as Dennis Lilly's. Well, isn't he it? makes Michael Holding look like a spinner, doesn't he's he? He's almost back on the wing. But he's got a set routine, which is good. Let's see if he pokes at it. Or kicks through the ball. And 
15 paces, similar to Alan Davidson in his run-up, but that right time he's away to the left and one behind. He didn't get onto that at all, did he? But the Bombers uh, charging forward at the moment. And Brisbane will be very keen to try and just uh, slow things down as White brings it back into play and, and finds Buse in the back pocket. Yeah, the Bombers have just got to start running through midfield. There was Cockatoo Collins on screen. He's, he's one that really has to lift his work rate. To half back and a big pack of players. Bears having the numbers to charge up towards uh, Lynch on left half forward. He runs out of room, however. Still has the ball in play, but only for a moment. And a throw in on the other side. Watson's in the back pocket on Paul Pios. So he and Ridley have interchanged. Pios booted two goals in the second quarter and kicked one in the first. Hardwick working hard at the bottom of the pack. That's tackling. That's good. Fierce. Look at that. Fletcher now a chance, although Buick's got him. Kilpatrick again. Off to O'Donnell. Now the Bombers go towards Wangani. Well, Matthew, you called it early. Wangani is the big threat down there at the moment. But he's got the class. He can uh, really electrify the crowd and set up the Bombers here. And that is just a beautiful piece of action of skills of our game. A great kick from O'Donnell. And once again, a big mark from Gavin Wanganeen, a player with every skill in the book. Directly in front, he's kicked two so far this term. A somewhat tentative drop punt is away to the right. Many are suggesting that he is uh, a big chance to win his second medal going that well. Lambert gets the hand pass away to Fletcher. The Bears out of trouble, but they need a score. Lynch has it on the centre wing. He quickly goes on with the job, getting the hand pass clear to Lappin, who goes towards half forward. Who's first to recover? It's Pios. He's booted three. He's kicked another one. Four goals to Paul Pios. And the Bears steady to regain the lead by four points. And he got the shot at goal due to his recovery skills. Lappin moves the ball in. It wasn't a great kick. Watson does the spoiling but stays on the ground and up bobs Pios. And through bobs another goal to the Bears. So we've got a big contest on our hands. A crowd chanting for the Brisbane Bears. Four points in favour of Brisbane. Somerville tries to take it out of the ruck contest. Well played by Adrian Fletcher under the left foot. He's looking down for the high markers, and there's one of them. It's Scott McIver. They've got a multi-pronged attack, the Bears. And Scotty McIver, a fairly quiet day. David Grinvold stands the mark. Three and three to Scott McIver. Three kicks, three handballs. Now he's on his left boot now almost directly in front but will have to kick the ball 50 meters right on the white line it's off to the left <laughs> probably won't make the distance the flyers oh good mark roger merritt brilliant mark has beaten two essendon players for that anthony Danaher being one ridley being another and a good mark for the big fella you yeah, well, roger just stands his ground here too much strength for the Opposition, Anthony Danaher trying to put body on him and Ridley coming over the top, but it wasn't a great attempt at spoiling. Should have smashed his hands away. Well, Big Roger, a great play for the Bombers in their glory years. Terrific. From here, Pete. Well, I think he'll run out and just open up the goal slightly, although there's an Essendon play waiting for that Ridley. Just sneak out a little bit, I would think. Let's see. No, he's going for the set shot as he kicks, and I think he might have hooked this. He has one behind only. And a great player in the AFL. Spent a long apprenticeship in the reserves competition with the Bombers. Recruited from Caniva. And his father-in-law was a great Essendon player, Reggie Burgess, in the old days. And he's edging his way towards 300. Will he make it as uh, Barry Young is on the sidelines? 269th game. Oh, Somerville was the flyer. Buick does the roving work off to Calfor, back to Buick. Oh, oh, please pick it up. He can't. Cockatoo Collins gives him support. 
towards Hurd. One grab. Kilpatrick, look at the tackle by Gastev, forcing the ball to spill free, but Hurd keeps it in play, getting them inside 50, he crashes into Leslie. Good football as McIver eventually runs out of room, his hand pass going over the boundary line, and another throw. Grenvold was replaced by Barry Young. Let's just have a look at this good tackle. A bit of a lunge, but didn't push him forward, giving away a free kick. From the throw, McLean, well, tried to run through a wall and he almost got there. White chips towards the centre wing, towards Lynch, and it ricochets away from him and over the line. Ten possessions for uh, Alistair Lynch today. He's kicked a couple of vital goals, started them off extremely well. McLean could go to McAdam, he does. Shows Calpol a bit of the footy and then gets slung. Young pushed in the back and will take a free kick. Wasting no time, gives it to Kilpatrick who floats it towards half forward. White oh, shows enormous talent. Just chips towards centre wing and Marcus Ashcroft. He goes up towards the right half forward. Fletcher is there. So the Bears steadying things down. He kicks towards the 50, he wants a Pios, but he can't take the mark. Watson lunged. Thought perhaps a free kick may have been coming his way, it wasn't to be. And a bounce will take place. Full house if you've just joined us here at the Gabba. It's a great sight. On a sunny day, McIver belts it towards goal some 30 metres. A oh. good bounce. There's some very strong bodywork going on in this game at the moment. McKay will attest to that. Lambert too is taken over the line by Calthorpe. The ball is still in play miraculously, but only for a moment. I think so. So too with Glenn Manton, who hasn't reappeared after I think getting a Roger Merritt knee in the yep. back of the ribs. Quite right. It was Dano who came charging through. Fletcher gives the hand pass away. Well, he wanted Hamilton, but it was stolen, and now Kilpatrick may take advantage. Goes uh, even wider to Hardwick and go over the top to Kilpatrick again, but no. Decides to change direction, come across the ground and finds Hurd. Certainly nothing wrong with that. Off he goes to O'Donnell, back to Buick. This time it sticks in his fingers. Inside 50. No mark taken. Champion gets back on the ball with Simons. Both ask the question of the umpire. And it will be another bounce, this time in the Bombers' attacking zone. 40 metres out from the Essendon goal, there's Michael Simons. He's kicked two, but he's been a good target for them. Knocked wide, clean, harassing him with pocket to Collins. His views are oh, well played by Buick. That was excellent play by Buick to tap it on. Fletcher under Buse again. And Andrew Buse around the half-back line. Delaney waits at the back, can't quite take it. Fabian Francis harassing him and eventually forces it over the line. This ball way out at half-forward, almost on centre wing. Essendon's slightly to Essendon scoring in. Troy Clark onto the ground for the Bears on the wing, picking up Hardwick. So Matthew Clark taps it down. Fletcher caught. Almost threw that one away. Clark again, showing agility to centre wing. Good mark, Scott McIver. And Scotty McIver playing on Barry Young. Brings it into half forward. Pios on the lead, harassed by two Essendon players. Watson is there, well stolen there by Fabian Francis. Great play on the McAdam. McAdam from 40 metres, set sail for home. Merritt at the back, almost a mark. The big fella's got it. Roger Merritt tries to get his boot to it. Todd Ridley races away with it now onto his right boot and gets Essendon out of trouble another race on towards centre wing Mercedes with the pace against Clark but here's Lambert Ooh. good play by Lambert on to Fletcher Fletcher the short pass and he gets it to Merritt he topped one it would have been down the ground but Merritt's marked it anyway in the forward pocket well more towards the half forward line and it appears as if Craig Lambert is injured he's running off the ground more bad news for the Bears They've been called that over the years. Well, there's Big Roger. He's only had three kicks, but his presence down there is invaluable. He's kicked one. Lap it back on. Well, he's normally a very accurate kick, Merritt. He's 
not too badly hurt Lambert. I think I think he'll be back on quick smart, Jared. Yeah, you wouldn't have thought he'd go off the ground if he wasn't. Uh... You might be able to give you a diagnosis from up here, mate. <laughs> Perhaps not this far away. Well, here's Roger Merritt from 40 metres. Kicking style is beautiful. He's kicked it. Yes. Two goals to Roger Merritt, and he's happy about that 11-5, plays 8-12, so 11-point margin. Well, this, of course, Sandy, is when the Swanets would come out and do their thing, and that's one other thing that the Bears haven't got that the Swans had. Perhaps they may consider it for next year <laughs> as they charge ahead to their, perhaps their premiership years. I know they're always a favourite of yours. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> Well, again, the Bears throw down the challenges. Fletcher takes it out of the centre. The margin is 11 points. Kilpatrick can't get away cleanly. Ashcroft towards the 50. Here's a chance. Down towards full forward goes Lynch. But he's pulled it a little too far and one behind the result. Two straight kicks in it. And Craig Lambert on the sidelines there. Doesn't look to be too bad. Well, the heat was always a question for Craig Lambert. He doesn't really handle it all that well. Perhaps he's just been given a breather. Although it does look like he's copped one right in the nose again. Danaher to O'Donnell on the right foot this time. Oh. And that's probably says something. And Merritt towards the half forward line. But there's no one at home. And the mark is taken by Danaher. This is Anthony Danaher. O'Donnell this time says... They'll try and come the right-hand side, but he gets caught. Not before he gets it to Kilpatrick. A high kick by Kilpatrick. Leslie getting back takes a good chest mark. Well, the Bombers made all the running to start this third quarter, but the Bears have steadied down. Three quick goals, two from Wanganeen. This is Ashcroft taking from Hamilton, passing to Lynch. He's become, he's become the idol up here, hasn't he? Oh. Idea. He's playing very, very well at the moment. Had such a frustrating start to his uh, career here, but it's good to see him come back. A big pack of players and the Bears locking it up once again. Scotty McIver takes the mark. Well, the multi-pronged attack that you spoke about, Peter, really has come to the fore in this quarter. Scott McIver, who, as you said, uh, a little bit quiet, although what he did in the first half was very effective, has got his hands on a number of balls this, this quarter and uh, should go back and kick a goal. McIver to stretch the lead for the Bears. Oh, oh my hat. Bad miss. <laughs> yes, they can be costly, can't they? Directly in front. The margin now 13 points, seven and a half minutes remaining, third turn. The, the, what the, have we got? <laughs> we haven't got the Swan well. Ants, but we have the Brisbane Ants. And aren't they a little group of charmers? <laughs> <laughs> Well, towards the half-back line, there's no mark. Alistair Lynch with a shot for goal. Oh, great play, Lynch. Splits the centre for a goal. <laughs> Alistair Lynch has kicked his fourth, and what brilliant play that was. I don't think they've got an answer for him, Jared. Well, his best game I've seen him play for the Bears. He kicked, uh, I think it was eight goals four weeks ago in his comeback game, or five weeks ago. But a lot of the time, the ball just dropped in his hands. He really has worked magnificently as a centre-half forward today. Taking a couple of goals running back towards the... Taking a couple of marks running back towards the goals. And four goals from centre-half forward. It's not a bad afternoon's work. With plenty of game left to go. So the Bears by 19 points. Alistair Lynch has kicked four. So has Paul Pios. Important now for Essendon. As Masidi gets it to the half-forward line. Oh, good mark taken by White. He plays off. Gets it further afield, Martin Leslie looking for Clark, very mobile, the big man. He's got it, caught, loses the ball in the tackle. Here's Hardwick, free kick. He didn't have the ball, was pushed in the back. Damien Hardwick, free kick, centre wing. Bombers needing a goal badly. A steadier. They've got to be close at the final change for they have any chance on this warm day. They actually look a little bit undersized up forward, don't they, Essendon? They're mobile, but undersized. Throw in. Clark in front. Buick still got that blistering pace. Can he turn it into a goal? He cannot. Oh. I think when you're winning, you're uh, mobile. When you're losing, you're undersized, Maga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
last year and the year before he would have snaffled those. He's just been missing them yeah. this year on the run, hasn't he? He has this year. He's kicking for goal. Came into this game with eight goals, 20. Johnny Gastev shouting in the back pocket and uh, not appearing to be heard. He goes along towards half-back. A huge pack of players. Cockatoo Collins at the front. He's been pretty quiet today. Buse defends. He's going to change tack and come across the face of goal. What's he got, though? On offer. Plenty of support. White and Leslie. Gasteb, they're all there. Lappin. And he marks just inside. An exciting young player. Towards half forward. Towards Lynch. And belting it away from him is Todd Ridley for another throw. And Todd Ridley taking a few deep breaths because Lynch is just covering so much territory that uh, Ridley's really having to move. Celebrating his birthday at the moment in fine style as Alistair Lynch does the ruck work. Cal Thorpe gets it away to Young. Goes towards uh, half forward. Rudy Frigo was there, couldn't take it cleanly. Leslie also taken out of it. McLean picks it up, gives it to Lappin. Nice turn of speed. Back to McLean again. Ominous signs for the Bombers as he kicks down towards the 50-metre line. Merritt slaps it over the back, but the only one there is Chris Danaher. Gives it to Joe Masiti and they'll get out of trouble. Back to Anthony Danaher. He ducked his head. He plays oh. on full in a crisis. He's still going. No one charged him, and he kicks to Steve Alessio on centre wing. Alessio. Oh, he's looking for the hand pass. Buick might be caught by McLean, or he just gets in a hand pass. Here's Ridley. On to O'Donnell. O'Donnell over the top. Racing after it for the Bombers is Kilpatrick. He's got no support. Now he has from Gary O'Donnell. They're going around in circles. Quick kick. Wanganin, did he cop it in the back? As Buick got it down to him, the umpire said no. Play on Richard Champion clears with a booming kick. Alessio sets himself, no mark, McLean roved it well, a clever hand pass, out to Hamilton, Hamilton back to Ashcroft, Marcus Ashcroft, touched, touched off the boot by Gary O'Donnell, here's Alessio going back towards the boundary line, keeps it in play to Delaney, O'Donnell does it well, Delaney should try and kick it, on to Alessio, now to Buick, I think they should kick the ball, and they're trying to handball it too much, but this is good play, advantage paid, great play by Buick, on to the right foot, flat as he kicked it, down to what full field, brilliant mark taken by Simons. And he was flat and there was, the umpire didn't pay the kick down the ground. But, uh, Simons good enough to take the mark. Now Essendon badly need this one. He's kicked two. He is directly in front and still in the hands of the trainers is Darren Buick, who is really flat. And what's this? Well, that's where I thought that Buick yeah, actually threw out. the ball out there, but uh, he gets away the kick away. Bang. And it was after delivery. And Michael Simon's nearly back in the centre with that familiar run in. Many, many steps. Stabs, this might be a free kick down the ground here. 50 wow. metre penalty, it's a goal anyway. Three goals to the full forward and the Bombers back in business. Yes, another goal to the dangerous Simons. But good work there from Buick, who stood his ground, burst through the pack. A little bit dubious, I thought, the way he paddled the ball in front of him. There it was there. Perhaps another shot at a grab there. There's no question that free kick was there. So the Bombers come back. 9-12 plays 12-7, but it's McIver who takes it out of the middle to Hamilton, almost down to the half-forward line for the Bears. He chips again to Pios. <laughs> Paul Pios has been one of the danger men down forward. He's booted four. Uh, back into the distance here. Taking the outsider, eh? He is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping you'd come in, Jared. He is a huge kick, Paul Pios. Margin at the moment is just 13 points. We've got just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter. He's going to have to kick it a good 55. Going to be darn close. It's a mighty kick. And Peter McKenna's has had yet another collect. That's five. And the Bears at the moment, Jared, are able to answer any challenge the Bombers can throw at them. Well, I think the Bombers have uh, tried to lift. They've got some better run through midfield. Wanganin certainly move, uh, worked the move to him to go to the forward pocket. Hasn't touched the ball for the last couple of minutes. 
But the signs certainly are there that the Bears uh, will go on and have a victory. And for them, what is all important is percentage, if in fact they win. Back in the middle once again as time ticks away in this all-important third quarter. O'Donnell punts it down to half forward towards Cockatoo Collins who can't get into the game. Leslie defends across to White. The Bears out of trouble again. White a short little chip. Too short on this occasion. Hardwick takes the mark. He's got Alessio screaming for it at half forward in the shadows. Now the big man lumbers down towards the forward pocket region. He centres it short. It's not a good kick. McAdam intercepts. The Bears out of trouble. Troy Clark being used off the interchange bench gets it away to Francis the Bears go up towards half forward once again in fact they're inside 50 out comes the rampaging Merritt but it passes him Lynch is still going he may have to soccer off the ground he gets caught the ball spills free and it's over the line uh, Damien Hardwick's only a young player but he should have been kicking at 60 metres from putting pressure on that Bears defence before 20 metres around from the Bears goal the last thing the Bombers would want would be a goal here to Brisbane here's McAdam oh good play Gilbert McAdam under the left boot in it goal I think he's got this quick kick <laughs> well they're doing well Brisbane they've arrived as a side Gilbert McAdam kicks his first and the Bears kick clear again 66 to 91 well Gilbert McAdam hasn't had a great afternoon not enough touches of the ball but he is a class act as we saw in his St Kilda days and that was an individual performance that uh, was equivalent to any this afternoon back in the middle once again under two minutes remaining in the third quarter the Bears are finishing this term as Essendon started it O'Donnell with very Whoa. little on offer goes short Lappin may make him pay he doesn't O'Donnell um, it was Danaher towards Masidi and Joe Mercedi finds Calthorpe. Calthorpe can bounce his way to the 50 metre line. He's on it now. Sets sail with a long kick towards Simons, but Champion almost pulled in a one-hander. It's still tucked in the pocket. Cockatoo Collins tries to bend it back to accommodate Simons. His hand pass goes astray, and White comes dashing clear. Daryl White gets the hand pass off to McIver, and the Bears are out of trouble. Here they come with Lynch. Oh, very mobile Lynch. Way out of centre wing. He's covering an enormous amount of territory. Long kick. In the words, Merritt. And Big Roger up with the arms and he plays on. Good play by Merritt. He was looking for Pios, but Jimmy Watson ducks back to take the mark. Watson onto the left foot. Out wide is Kilpatrick. The Bombers badly need a couple of goals before three-quarter time. Oh, they've only got 40 seconds, so they may get one. Buick has got to move it quickly. He does so. Onto the left foot. Here's Simons. A good lead. Oh, well played by Richard Champion. Oh, oh a bit of a soft free kick, wasn't it, Jared? Well, what do you see the think? replay because we were looking at a front yeah, line. Yeah, you need to have a good look at it. There was a push in the back, but it looked like it was just a legitimate uh, punch from behind. But uh, Simons, it was a good lead and very aggressive, Richard Champion. Let's have a look again. Already had his name taken. Line ball. Still, Simons was playing in front, and he has done that all day and has led very, very well for the ball. He's kicked three, and the Bombers badly need this one. Just Look at this. Back far enough into the commentary box. <laughs> As I said, the Dennis Lilly run up many, many steps, trying to balance himself. He's at 50 metres. It's a high kick. It's a good-looking kick. It floats through for a goal to the Bombers. Michael Simons has kicked his fourth. He claps his teammate for the excellent pass. 91 to 72. Maybe they're not out of it yet, Essendon. Well, there's no way you can ever count uh, or write Essendon off. We saw, uh, we've seen so many times, as you've already indicated, Peter, the fact that they will keep going. They were dead and buried against Carlton a couple of weeks ago. They came back for a one-point victory. So don't write the Bombers off. It would be a most unlikely victory from here, though. We'll have the bounce, but that'll be just about all. In fact, it will be. It's three-quarter time here at the Gabba. In my word, we're set for a big last quarter. Stay with us because there's still plenty more football to come on this big doubleheader day. And at three-quarter time, Brisbane are saying to the reigning champs, catch us if you can. 14-7-91 plays 10-12-72.
The big question is, can the Bombers come back? 14-7 plays at 10-12. And it is the Bears kicking to what has been a pretty effective scoring end. Let's see what happens in the middle. If Eston can get the first one or two, it's going to throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Hurd gets it out to Watson. They've got a chance to go down to the forward line. Kilpatrick's pass drops short, and it's taken by the Rat. Chris, Andy Buse. Chris Danaher now on Pios and Barry Young on Dallas to Lynch. Buse goes to the outer side. The kick is effective. Away goes Marcus Ashcroft. Almost to the 50-metre line. In fact, to it. At the back is Pios. If he picks it up, which he does, just gets boot to ball but doesn't travel very far. Merritt is there, close to the boundary line. He went over the big fella. And a throw in to take place in the Bears' attacking zone in front of a magnificent new social club area. It is the best in the league, I think, Pete. Certainly the best uh, trading rooms and the visitors' rooms are just as good. Now, here's Scotty McIver on the left foot around the corner. Fires away at goal and luckily for the Bombers, he is missed. So McIver, quiet first half, but a very good third term. Now, the margin, 20 points. He'll be a fool to ride off the Bombers. they will fight it right out. Barry Young in that back pocket. Always oh, taking a oh, chance oh. here to get away from McAdam. Finds Chris Danaher. Back to Young. To the centre of the ground. Plenty of bears plays. Oh, Buick tried to get around. Here's Kilpatrick. He's got to use the ball a little bit better. He's had two poor passes. Another ordinary kick will come off because Hardwick's here. Gets it to Denham. Denham races in the goal on the right foot. Oh, he's oh. flattened as he kicked it, but he's put it through. The Bombers are coming back. Excellent goal by Denham because he could see the Bears players coming towards him and he was unloaded as he kicked the ball. The umpire would have paid a free down the field, but he's hurt. He was hit very, very hard. So as we have a look at it, bang it was hip and shoulder he was unprotected because he was kicking the ball and it was Johnny Gastev who jumped into him with the I don't think he raised the elbow at all looking at that uh, replay just looked like a straight uh, hip shirt and shoulder front. as you said the yeah. old-fashioned shirt front just took the wind out of his sails but the bottom line is it's a goal for the Bombers and that's exactly what they wanted to start as we go back to the centre, back to the action. It's the Bears through Hamilton who rush it out of the middle towards half forward. McIver was being held and it's been picked up. The umpire in the perfect position to see that one. You called it correctly, Sandy, with the uh, McIver being impeded there. Well, the Bears have shown that they have been able to answer any challenge thrust at them what can the left footer do from 42 metres it's a drop punt but it's away to the right and it's one behind oh, they're bad misses aren't they yeah well not good enough from Scott McIver that's two easy shots at goal that uh, he should have put through good news for uh, Bomber supporters Glenn Manton appears to be about to come back onto the ground so obviously no structural damage other than a bruise I'd imagine Denham's up and, uh, remains to be seen whether he stays on the ground Clark and Alessio, the two big men going out at Hammer and Tongs. Two mobile big men, aren't they, Clark and Alessio? Back they go for the throw-in. One by Alessio, down to Denham, who's OK, off to Mercedi. A high kick towards half-forward. White at the back, forced to defend against Hurd. Thrown out towards Leslie from McAdam. His kick is somewhat lateral. Champion chasing. Gets there now, away from Simons. Is he away from Simons? Eventually he gets a kick and he kicks it straight to Kilpatrick. Could prove costly. 55 metres out. Goes in towards full forward. Free kick. Free kick for holding. Wanganeen's going to have a shot. 20 metres out. And this could bring the Bombers right back into this game. Great play by Simons, Jared. He, if this is a goal to Wanganeen, put it down to Simons. Yeah, it's good pressure, wasn't it? On the champion kick. So Gavin Wanganeen. This for number three. Vital kick for the Bombers. Oh, he's kicked into the man. Touched the number. Oh, Cardinal Summer football, that. The kick is Gavin Wingenine's biggest uh, weakness. He does fail to pinpoint passes at times. But that was an unforgivable ever error from a Brownlow medalist and champion young player. Oh, from 25 metres. Punched away by Alessia. That was a good play. It's not further on. Here's Timmy Watson. Bring it across the ground. That wasn't a great kick. Oh, it was an ordinary kick. 
Cocker to Collins, goes backwards. This is Delaney. Delaney to Hardwick, who always seem to have a lot of time. Hardwick, another ordinary kick. Oh, the flyer was Simons. Couldn't mark Champion, went without it. Tackle on uh, Richard Champion, and it'll be a bounce at the 50-metre line. Essendon scoring in. Here's the bounce again. Denham tries to get it away to kill Patrick. He's effective. Now, this is coming back. Not enough. From behind. They've picked up the bombers, haven't they? Yes. Well, they've had to. With Brisbane starting out this last quarter with their noses in front. And Craig they've added a couple of behinds. Craig Lambert still in the dugout. You'd imagine that if he was able to come back onto the ground, he'd be there at the moment. Still plenty of time for either side. Look at White. He is an athlete. Hamilton is away across the centre in towards half board, but the kick drops short. Lynch gets back, but he's given away a free kick. I doesn't like it either. No, the free kick was there. It wasn't a great kick, I thought. Delaney from fullback goes to kill Patrick on the outer side. He lopes clear of Hamilton. Kicks towards centre wing. But the only one there at the back is Leslie. Guides it beautifully across to the outer side and at the moment the Bears well, they dearly love a goal to steady things down Hamilton's kick to half forward, Lynch waits at the back, Grenville, Grenville marks in front he's tucked uh, right on the edge Ooh. of the shadow on the sun, he runs into trouble is forced back onto the left foot kicks it high, Alessio in front fisted away from him, fisted away from Lappin, who sees it go over the sidelines under 15 minutes remaining there's Craig Lambert urging his side on will he get another run or is there an injury problem we'll just have to wait and see they're starting to look a little tired and well they may be Hamilton gets the hand pass away Leslie off to Fletcher Fletcher's kick is high up towards the 50 metre line and a good mark taken by Danaher on half back. Yeah, good defensive work from Chris Danaher. Left his man Pios to attack the ball, took it well. And the kick to the half back line, Fletcher gets it to Hamilton. Hamilton on the left boot, he's looking for Merritt. All swoop at the back, can't mark. The ball hits the deck, Merritt tries to get his boot to it. Here's McIver, clever hand pass, well played by Michael McLean. Now he hooks it around the corner. And I think McLean's kicked the goal here. Yes. That's his first. Michael McLean, and what a handy one to Brisbane. 99 plays 80, so 19 points now the margin. Well, the big trap that the Bears can uh, fall into here is that they think they've got this game won. This was a great goal. And what's for the fend? There it is there. That's a legitimate tactic as long as you don't put it in his mush. And it resulted in a goal. Well, again, the Bears have the ascendancy as Lappin has it on the outer side. Swings round his body, going down towards 50. Won't quite make it. It goes over the line, but this huge crowd is certainly showing plenty of voice, plenty of enthusiasm, as they sense that perhaps the Bears can keep their finals hopes alive. Here's the throw-in. O'Donnell caught. Spills free, Hamilton, plenty of pressure on him, he's got support in the form of Fletcher, he chips to half forward and Lynch says it's my birthday and I'll have the party. And having plenty to say either to the umpire or to Barry Young, I think it was to, it was to the umpire. Yes, and we believe that Craig Lambert has got a cork thigh. Perhaps he'll come back, but uh, boy, you'd have him on the ground now if he was available. Yeah. Well, here's an important kick. This could just about seal it for the Bears. If he misses it, keep things alive for the Bombers. That is away to the right. That is one behind. Been close to man on the mark then. Might have been aware where the actual mark was. Not quite sailing like an exit jet. 15-10, plays 11-14. So the kick to the half-back line has been marked by Roger Merritt. He's almost kicked that straight at him. Big fellow just putting his hand up. 
the general. You wouldn't think he'd kick this. It'll be a set play somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Now, it was an ordinary kick in the end. He's kicked it straight. There was a set play, I think, Jared, but Bart he uh, miskicked it. As Masiti, well, two on one here, free kick. Played to James Hurd against Merritt and Darrell White. White's got on top of James Hurd. Hurd had a great patch in the first quarter. Well, James Hurd's had a great year, but a quiet game against Footscray also. Jared out at Waverley. Oh, oh good mark, Darrell White. Over the top of Copper to Collins. He's got some ability. I think that's his position, centre half back. As we see Martin Leslie transfer play. Oh, look at the pace of Wanganeen. Well played, Gavin yeah. Wanganeen against McAdam. Terrific play to Kilpatrick. And Kilpatrick marks way out at half forward. Now, umpire calling play on the low trajectory kick. Hardwick, no mark. Two Bears players there. Was that a hand pass? Umpire said yes. He oh. refused. Was he tripped? And the umpire's reported. This is ridiculous. He has reported Damien Hardwick. What's he supposed to do? Just let him run off. Could be reporting for a trip, trip is he? Yeah. It's absolutely oh, ludicrous, the situation. They have, have gone mad on this tripping. Two years ago, it was wrestling. You couldn't fight with another player. Richard Osborne got suspended. That lasted for three minutes. Well, there was one yesterday, Carl. No. And uh, Christo's been reported. Yep. For it looked a very, very iffy one. But he's got a front up. And of course, we won't be able to have a look at the replay because of the report, which is perhaps another uh, ridiculous situation, particularly yeah. when it's only a trip. Yeah, it's got to be looked at, this. As we see uh, the big fella, Matthew Clark, and half back to centre wing. Oh, Lynch using his body beautifully. Good play by Fletcher to put the pressure on. Clark loses the ball in the tackle. He's caught. Look at the skill. Cockatoo Collins, that's good play. Denham, centre of the ground. They're still fighting hard, the Bombers. Kilpatrick, Masiti. Oh, Watson caught underneath this one. And uh, they've got all the answers, the Bears, as the mark has been taken there by Martin Leslie. Wide to Troy Clark. Clark. Kicks towards his namesake uh, towards Hamilton Hamilton marks kicks in towards Pios and the Bears in control at the moment Pios short passes again and then Alistair Lynch is going to have a shot smart bit of play there by the Bears bring the ball down the wing their skill levels increased out of sight in the last uh, 12 months obviously they've got a lot of uh, new players in the side but even the players that were here a couple of years ago that are still here appear to have lifted in all aspects of their game Lynch has booted four. And you can now make that five. Bears are home. Five to Alistair Lynch. And it's 16-10 to 11-14. Matt, do you disagree? The Bears aren't home. The fat lady is I, singing mad. I think, I think they'll win, but there is 10 minutes to go. She's hoarse, she's been singing that long. <laughs> well, I mentioned that multi-pronged attack earlier. Pios has now kicked five, Lynch five. So, you've got two good players down there. Roger Merritt's kicked two, so there's 12 goals between those three forwards. It's a pretty good forward line, Jared. Yes, probably a lot better than when you do have just the uh, the full forward there, as Kevin Sheedy alluded to in the uh, pre-game show. Hamilton to the half-forward line. Lappin is there. Calthorpe takes it away onto Gary O'Donnell, who's battled hard. Well, we come to expect that of him. Denham, Grenbold onto the left boot, but uh, they're just not getting into that forward line very very well Hardwick too slow loses the ball in the tackle Clark Martin Leslie oh, they're playing with confidence Darrell White he loves these little chip passes and he finds Fletcher on centre wing but there you can see confidence oozing all over this Brisbane Bears team and they've got this crowd yelling for them Lynch flies in the air and can't take the mark and the important thing from a Bears point of view is I think they've got uh, 11 games to go including this one seven at home four away so no game for any visitor is going to be easy. The Pies are up here next week. But they could find themselves in the eight. A lot of 
The water's still under the bridge, however. Oh. Oh. Well, Hurd has it. Plays on to Buick. Darren Buick, a floating kick. From the... Well, his kicking's let him down all afternoon, Darren Buick, and probably cost the Bombers uh, a chance to be competitive. Look oh. at Wanganini. He's beaten one, two, and he's got a free kick. The advantage is paid to Delaney. They're not down and out yet. He shoots towards goal, and he slams it into the woodwork. Well, the hell is Wanganini then? He a couple of them, didn't he, in most exciting fashion. Well, he's also uh, fixed up Johnny Gastev. Well, Gastev's still down. Wasn't well, legitimate, of course. It's just a sh just a body-on-body -body clash, as we see in our game. Well, well they're calling for the stretcher. Uh, in real trouble, Johnny Gastev. Looks like he may have done his knee. Well, hope it's not a knee injury. We'll hear from uh, Matt Campbell on that one. Leslie tumbles it towards it. Great use of the arm there by Lynch to keep Barry Young away. We may pick that up on the replay. Lynch to send the Bears into attack again. Inside 50, a centering kick. mckay has got to beat a couple of them and it's too big a ask. Cockatoo Collins, out to Denham. He plays on, back to Cockatoo. Now, Che's got a bit of room here. Two bounces. Can go again, but elects to take the kick towards Hurd. But it's too far out in front of him. And it's over the line. Now, he, uh, a stretcher is coming across the ground. And he's been taken straight off the ground. So that's bad news to start with. Yeah. He's obviously taking no further part. The game will have to... Uh, and uh, we'll have to stop the game for a moment while this stretcher comes and takes him away. But that's shocking luck for uh, Johnny Gastev. He's played, uh, what, 134 games. And uh, for this to happen is a tragedy. But it's something that has become an all-too-common sight in recent times, Jared. Yes, there's Shane Williams, one of the Bears trainers, uh, doing what he can for John Gastev. Of course, you'll probably have to wait until Monday morning's papers to find out uh, what's wrong with that, perhaps even later on. Well, there's a replay as uh, Wanganin turns him round but uh, no and in fact he's standing up now so uh, maybe it is not as bad as first looked at well, his, uh, standing up Sandy you can still do a cruciate ligament be well, walking it, around. he's walking around I think we'll just have to wait until he, he sees a knee specialist to find out uh, what the problem there is yeah well let's uh, hope that it's not too severe of course the... Mark Roberts if you remember played out a game with it Correct. snapped ACL yes like working in a hospital, isn't it, really? I thought he had a crook knee, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Let's get back to the oh, game. And Marcus Ashcroft runs into Sean Denham. He loses it to Joe Mercedes, who kicks up to the half-forward line. The juggling mark is taken by Hardwick. On right half-forward. Centering kick. And a mighty oh! fly is unsuccessful by Simons. Picked up by Hamilton. Pushes it wide, up towards Grenville. Got a bit of time if he can maintain his footing, which he does. But uh, time is against the Bombers at the moment. Try as they may, there's just seven minutes remaining. Look at Bears' back line's doing well. Oh, the Bears player down, is it McCadden behind the play? Oh, he's up and about now, hobbling. Also th think that Shane Hamilton's had a pretty good game on the wing, as has Adrian Fletcher, a player we haven't really given too many raps to, but uh, he's a quiet achiever. Work hard worker, isn't he? Yeah, he doesn't... Uh, he's not a flair or a leery type of player, so you don't pick him up much, but he certainly wins the football. Well, here's Gilbert McAdam to centre wing. There he is, the player we're talking about, Adrian Fletcher. Well, he's a player that spent a couple of weeks in the uh, local Quaffle and has come back and uh, stood up to be counted. Now Ashcroft gets it to the forward line, a holding decision. It will go the way of Lynch, Barry Young, obviously holding on. The umpire deliberating on that one. Lynch has been a thorn in Essendon's side all day. He's kicked five. He's been best on the ground by an absolute mile, I would have thought. Well, he's a, he's a leader, isn't he, Jared? He just commands and... The, look, 11 marks, but the beauty of Lynch is he's just covered so much territory across that half-forward line. Well, it's the best game I've seen him play as a centre-half forward. Robbie Walls, he would be a very happy man. They've had some good scalps. Scott Clayton, Scott Scott Clayton on, the, on the left there. Director of football here at Brisbane. Yes. So, uh, Alistair Lynch for goal number six from a 45-degree angle. He's missed it to the right. 
and sneaks it in for one behind. But uh, former Fitzroy star, and there's Johnny Guest. Johnny Guest dip, hobbling off the ground. Let's hope it's not serious. Just a reminder, too, to check your local guides because uh, on this double header Sunday, big game still to come is between Adelaide and Melbourne at Football Park. That one's like a grand final for those two sides. Wanganeen working hard at the bottom of the pack. Cockatoo Collins comes in over the top. And the umpire decides on a bounce with under six minutes remaining in this match. And uh, our news from the boundary line is that Gastev's knee is not 100%, but we still don't know the full extent. Rudy Frigo plucks it out of there. It wasn't one of his better handballs. Gilpatrick gives it away to Calthorpe. He pumps it in towards the middle, but only as far as Leslie. They're playing on confidence. Look at Young Lappin on the outer side. Got a bit of room. Kicks in towards half forward. McIver comes in from the side with a big fly. No one able to take the mark. O'Donnell will be first to it for the Bombers, but he's under pressure. Gives it away to Buick. Darren Buick from half back. Going to get round Clark, and he should do that okay. Kicks up towards half forward. Wide again was the fly. The rat stayed down. Bues, centering kick. No one at home, and an easy mark taken by McAdam. McAdam wide to Lappin. He strolls down half four. And a real worm burner towards Alistair Lynch. Oh, he does it beautifully. Does it beautifully. Kicks in towards full forward. Now, can someone take a mark? Oh, Rudy! <laughs> <laughs> You've been dying for that, haven't you, Sandy? For Rudy Frigo to take a oh, mark. Oh, an excellent mark. That was a good one. What an excellent call. And there's best player on the ground, Alistair Lynch, bombing this one in. And it did look as if Anthony Danaher got first touch on that one, but uh, Frigo, a product of the local league, pull it down. First kick for the day from Frigo. Doesn't take quite the run up that Simons takes, but gets the same result, the goal. So if you didn't hear the fat lady singing before, then have a look at it, because she's up there now. She's waving them both madly. <laughs> 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 That'll be a lovely sight, but not us talk about oh. our times. <laughs> I can't talk, you go on. <laughs> well, there's uh. Alistair Lynch down to Frigo. One hand went up, good controlled mark. Once again, the Bears proving that they are arriving as a very good football side. They're unlucky early in the year with injuries to star players. The Bombers, of course, have got a number of good players out. Here's Francis getting it to Hamilton, who's been excellent. Down to Merritt. And Merritt is marked. 25 metres out. Well, 30 metres, let's say. Almost directly in front. And the big fella has kicked two. Well, I'm not sure it's a uh, fait accompli that Roger Merritt will retire at the end of this year. I believe he's a vital part of the whole network up here in Brisbane. And I wouldn't be surprised to see that uh, Brisbane could convince him to perhaps get another year out of the old body. He may only play three out of four games just to allow himself to recover. And there was perhaps a little bit of that in his uh, omission from last week's side. But he is still a terrific player at full forward. Real goer, Roger Merritt. Well, he's hooked this one, I think, other than his kicking. <laughs> and actually, it's normally a very good kick, but he's missed that one. One behind only. And he has kicked two for the day. But Alistair Lynch has kicked five. Paul Pios, five for Essendon. Michael Simons has kicked four. Gavin Wanganeen, two. The ball out towards the half-back line. No mark. Well, that was a trip. That was almost a trip. Here's Calthorpe. Barry Young went without it. Oh, here's Fabian Francis. He gets in a hand pass. Hardwick has worked hard. Here's Denham. Fletcher has been excellent. Caps it out. Oh, big clap. Went into a brick wall. Grabbed by Hardwick. Out towards the boundary line. And it rolls and rolls. And eventually over the line. Under three minutes remaining. And uh, that picture tells the story of the day for the Bombers. It's a bit of a crisis for the Bombers now. They've only got six wins on the board. And finishing as premiers, they've got a very difficult road to uh, come home with. Well, I reckon Michael Long's been worth uh, four or five goals a week to this side. Oh, they're just missing some unbelievably talented yeah. players. Fortunately for them, they'll probably get Salmon back oh! next week. Oh! Oh! Can 
and this boy take a mark. He's playing with confidence, isn't he? White to the outer side to Leslie. Well, the whole team's playing with confidence at the moment. Look at this, over the top to Troy Clark. He's got a heck there or so. Kicks in towards the 50-metre line once again. And Merritt unable to take a grab. Well, we did say a couple of weeks ago that uh, Darrell White went to the Gary Carlton School of Coaching. However, his form in the last month at centre-half back has been quite uh, superb. And he seems to have straightened himself up going down the middle of the ground rather than in uh, the Gary Carlton circles that were that become <laughs> so famous. <laughs> What'd they call him? Mad Dog. Crazy yeah. Horse, I think. Crazy, Crazy Horse. Mad Dog was uh, Muir. Muir. <laughs> <laughs> to the outer side, and Muse takes the mark. Speaking of mad. Mm -hmm. That was harsh. Lappin. In the nicest possible way. and uh, He's on centre wing. And so the Bears are going to break a hoodoo that has seen them lose ten go games straight against Essendon. Well, these are the well, Brisbane Bears, though, uh, Sandy. The Brisbane Bears are a lot different to the Carrara Bears. Certainly are. And uh, Lappin takes the mark. So uh, things looking rather rosy for the Queenslanders today, with Queensland, of course, beating New South Wales comprehensively earlier in a uh, state game. Denham cop Ooh. one early. Cockatoo Collins overruns it. McIver gets clear. They're tired now, these boys. Grenvold back to Cockatoo Collins. Cries of Che Che. Eventually Denham. His left foot kick goes up towards centre wing. Hardwick. Eyes only for the ball. Does it well. Does it extremely well to Buick, who kicks up towards the half forward line. And James Hurd takes the mark. Hurd in towards half forward. Here's Simons. Oh, he can't get there. That's a mark. A good mark and courage shown by young uh, Lappin then. Nigel Lappin. It wasn't easy to go back there with the oncoming pack. He took a good mark. A good player in the making. Well, they've got some good players. Voss has played in the QA NFL. And uh, Justin Lepich is another one. Who, he's uh, an excellent player. He's a good player. He's played half a dozen games in the quaffle. Nathan Chapman. Yes, he's another one that's just uh, dropped off the pace a little bit. Just in between positions. I'm not sure the, uh, that he's found his set spot. So here's Richard Champion way out at centre wing. So we, uh, we mentioned Boss, uh, didn't we, Jared? We yes, we did. We did mention Michael Boss. The kick to centre wing. And this is Matthew Clark. Clark. On the outer side. It's all academic now. As there's the siren. And listen to the roar from this Brisbane crowd. As... Uh, Noel Gordon. Noel Gordon leaps in the air, he is delirious. This is a big win for the Brisbane Bears. There's Robert Walls, the coaching staff of the Brisbane Bears. Many thought if uh, there was going to be a day they could roll the Bombers, it was going to be today. Number of players coming back into the side after injury. Lynch regaining top form. Well, he celebrated his 26th birthday in no uncertain fashion, booting five. Paul Pios also kicked five for the day. And the Brisbane Barretts, to say the least, are ecstatic. As we go down to the boundary line, here's Matt. Yeah, with me is Adrian Fletcher. Congratulations, Fletcher. It's a magnificent win again. Yeah, it was a good win. Um, everybody contribute. Um, we're just doing the hard things, and that's getting us into the game. The form on the Bears over the last four weeks has been magnificent, and great to see yourself back on the side in the centre. Yeah, yeah, I had to work hard, but um, I just got to do the team things. That's what lets me down, but... Uh, I just want to be part of the team at the moment. And what you wouldn't know today, they close the gates, it's a full house. Yeah, it's good, it's the first time I've uh, seen it full. Uh, I've been here, this is my second year, and it's uh, magnificent. I'll let you go and enjoy the team. Well done, well played. That's Adrian Fletcher, it's all happening down here on the ground. Yeah, it certainly is, thank you Matt. And it's good to see that uh, the Bears players coming over to the stand, the Sir Leslie Wilson stand, and acknowledging their supporters. Fantastic, as we check the final scoreline here at the Gabba. Brisbane successful, 17-12, 114, eclipsing the reigning champions, 11-15, 81, and they're all excited.